Colleen, I'm going to be your son's nurse today. Who do we have with us this morning? Well, that's my son. His name is Brent East. Okay. What's Brent's birthday? January 15, 2014. All right. And the doctor, Dr. Hill, has been working with you guys this morning. He let me know that your son's having some difficulties today. Can you tell me kind of what's going on? Hey, Brent. My name's Colleen. I'm going to be your nurse today. What's going on? <laughs> Know what happened? So this morning I took them to my parents' house and then um, about an hour ago I went to pick him up and he was acting funny. He said he couldn't really breathe and he had this cough and, you know, breathing pretty, you know, like I can hear him breathing. Okay. Well, um, and what's your relationship to Brent? That's my son. Your son. Yes. Do you mind if I, Brent, do you mind if I listen to your lungs and your heart a little bit? Okay. Okay. I know. Okay. Let's see if we can't get you feeling a little bit better today, okay? Okay. <laughs> and Brent, I'm just going to lift the bed up a little bit, and I'm going to lift your head up. Let's get a an O2 reading on you. So, Mom, this is just a little finger clip, and Brent, I'm going to put this little alligator clip on your finger here, and it's going to tell me how much oxygen is in your blood right now, okay? It's kind of a neat little trick. It turns red when it's working, okay? It's okay. It's not going to hurt, right? No, no. See, that doesn't hurt, Brent. No. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and get a listen to your heart and your lungs, okay? I'm going to lift up your shirt a little bit. It's going to be a little bit cold. And at this time, I would listen for a full minute to the apical pulse and carry on with my lung assessment. Brick, I'm just going to lift you a little bit. I'm going to just listen to the back of your lungs, okay? Mommy, I'm really oh, in trouble. Okay, baby. I'm going to listen to you and hopefully they can help you out. Yeah, okay, Brent. I hear some big-time wheezing in there. Oh, gosh, and we're a little bit cyanotic. Oh, yeah, Let's see if we can't move. get to... Let me look at the doctor's orders and see what we can do to help you out, okay? Because lifting the head of your bed didn't really help much. All right, looks like the doctor said that we can give you some oxygen. Let me start you off at half a liter of oxygen, okay? So I'm just going to put this on your face. These are going to go in your nostrils. It might blow some cold air. It might tickle a little bit, okay? But I want you to just try and breathe it in. This is just oxygen. It's going to help you breathe a little bit, okay? Just keep taking those deep breaths and see if that helps. So, Mom, tell me a little bit more about what happened today. I mean, did he, you said he doesn't have any allergies. Was he maybe around something new that could have brought this on? No, they didn't tell me anything. He told me, you know, he had a good day. Nothing was, you know, nothing happened. Nothing new happened. Okay. Um, but when I picked him up, he, you know, he was acting a little funny. He said he couldn't breathe. He was coughing, kind of gasping for air. That's why I brought him here. Okay, and this is abnormal for him, right? He doesn't, has, has he ever had problems breathing like this before? No, never. No, this is something new. Yes. Brent, were you maybe outside today, or what did you do today? When, what, when did you first start noticing that you were having a hard time breathing? Do you remember what you were doing? I was just, I was just playing outside, and my grandpa has a new kitty, and, and I was playing with a kitty cat. Oh, you were playing with the cat? Okay, uh -huh. were you were you touching the cat? Yeah, he likes to cuddle. Oh, okay. So sometimes, especially with new onset asthma attacks, they can be triggered by pet dander or outside allergens. Has he ever been around a cat before? No. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to let the doctor know about that. It doesn't look like the oxygen has really helped his oxygenation level too okay. much. 
Uh, the physician would like to keep his oxygenation level above 95, and right okay. now we're sitting at about 91, so that's really not okay. where we want to be. That's not good. The physician has written for some medication for Brent. Okay. It's a nebulizer treatment. Uh, the medication is called albuterol, okay. and it's a liquid, but Brent's going to inhale it in a mist form. So you're going to kind of pretend to be a dragon today, okay? You're going to blow some smoke for me here in a minute. All right, All right, Brent? dragon. All right. And what is that going to do? So this medication helps to dilate the bronchioles in the lungs, and it helps to increase the oxygenation in the lungs. Okay. It may cause his heart to race a little bit, so he may feel a little funny for 30 minutes to an hour or so afterwards. That's totally normal. Okay. So we do expect his heart rate to speed up a little bit. That's a normal side effect of this medication. Okay. Are you comfortable with us giving your son that medication today? Yeah, I think going to help him breathe better. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to step out for a second, go okay. to the med room, get that medication, and then I'll be back, okay? Okay, okay Brent, I want you to just keep taking that oxygen in, okay? I'll be right back with some medication. Okay. All right. So now I'm in the bedroom, and I'm going to look at my physician's orders. Okay. All right. See my physician's orders. All right. Let me put on some gloves. Find my medication. I want to do this quickly because the poor baby cannot breathe very well. And I know I'm going to have to do some dosage calculation because most of pediatric medications are based on weight. So I have the patient's weight here and I have the dose the physician has ordered. Okay, and I've done my math. All right, and I have the right medication. I'm going to need a total of this much medication. Perfect. To ensure I'm getting the correct dose for this patient and his size, I'm going to draw it up in a syringe so I know for sure that I've got the right dose. So draw it all up. I know I don't need all that. the correct amount. Bring this back to the patient's room and we'll get him feeling better. Don't return. Okay. So he 
even after he finishes this, we're going to have him stay here with us for a few minutes. The doctor is going to come back in, reassess him, make sure that everything looks good. And if this works for him, then he may go home with some medication similar to this. Okay? Oh, it looks like our oxygenation is so hard to be. Thank you. 